and welcome to Foodie in Fashion. Today we will be discussing the basic do's and don'ts of suits. And when I mean basic, I mean these are the things you should be looking for, especially if this is your first suit. Now before we go down that list, I want to give you some background info on the suit. If you're not used to wearing suits, trying on the suit jacket for the first time is going to feel weird and constraining. A lot of guys become stiff because they feel the fit is too rigid and they can't move in it. Well, you can move in it, you're just not going to run a marathon in it. Or do this. You're not doing the chicken dance in a suit, so don't start. The suit is a unique garment because it looks good on all guys and can hide physical imperfections with some tailoring. Now that tailoring is going to be an additional charge and I know for some of you guys this is a new concept, especially if you're used to wearing things right off the rack. But if you've ever seen any celebrity Instagram post, GQ article, or Bond film, these guys have those suits tailored to fit them just right. To look that good, you have to get it tailored. With that said, let's take a look at the basic do's and don'ts. Do. Buy a two-button jacket. Now, suit jackets come in a variety of button arrangements one button, three button, double breasted. These are a few examples of that, but you don't need to worry about that. They come in and out of style, whereas the two button jacket does not, and it looks good on all guys. Don't button the bottom button of a suit jacket. This is one of the first big mistakes guys make, and I understand there are two buttons you should be able to button both of them. Don't. This is a rule that has been in place for decades, and there's no true origin story of how it started, but there is a practical reason for why you shouldn't. Buttoning the bottom button is an unflattering appearance that not only makes you look bigger, but you look like an amateur in a suit. I rest my case. Do find a suit that fits your body type. To get the longest wear out of a suit, you should be dressing for your body type. Suit trends go in and out of style, but knowing how to dress for your body never does. Now this is going to take some time and require some trial and error. But your body is going to be the biggest deciding factor of how the suit's going to fit. Now after trying on some suits, you're going to realize that there are certain features that have to be taken into account. Maybe you have a broad chest, larger biceps, a long torso, or big thighs. These are all just a few examples of the things that have to be taken into account to make sure that that suit fits you properly. Take your time. Find the right fit, even if that means going to several stores or having the suit made for you. And don't worry, how a suit jacket should fit is going to be a topic for another episode. Don't buy an extreme slim fit suit. Some of you guys are tall and lean and that's exactly the fit that you need, but not everyone needs that same fit. Presently, a lot of guys are getting their suits tailored to have that closer to the body feel, and that's okay. But keep in mind that a suit doesn't have the same amount of give as a pair of jeans. You have to move around in it. The problem is some guys end up buying the wrong size just to get that close to the body fit. You can buy a suit with a trimmer cut, and still look good on you, but just be careful. If you gain a few pounds, or if you start lifting weights, then you may outgrow that suit sooner than you think. Do have a suit in your closet just in case. By the time you're in your mid-twenties, you should own at least one suit, even if you don't wear it often. There are plenty of occasions that can pop up at the last minute where you're required to wear a suit, so you should always be prepared. And when I mean in your closet, I mean in your closet. It's not packed away somewhere, it's not at the dry cleaners. And if you do own one, do me a favor. After you watch this video, try it on, make sure it still fits. The last thing you need is to have an event where you're required to wear a suit, you try it on, and it doesn't fit. It's a headache that you don't need. Which reminds me, don't buy a suit at the last minute. A suit's never going to fit you properly right off the rack, and it's going to need to be altered. It limits your choices of what you can get, and how much you ultimately pay for the suit, depending on if it's on sale. Never wait less than a week to buy a suit. Give yourself two weeks or more to find what you need. 
do have a suit altered. As I've said throughout the course of this video, a suit is never going to fit you perfectly right off the rack. You're going to have to have it altered and you're going to have to pay for it to be altered. But I don't want you to look at it as an additional cost. The alterations make the suit. It makes the suit fit better on you and it makes it your own. No matter how minor the alterations may be, it is going to have a huge impact on how the suit looks on you. Don't be afraid of descriptive terms. Athletic, slim, modern, classic, tailored, traditional, extreme slim with extra guac. These are all generic terms, except that last part, that the fashion industry uses to describe the fit of a garment. Now, I'm not just talking about suits here. I'm talking about every article of clothing you buy. Each brand is different. One brand's slim is another brand's tailored. To overcome this, I recommend trying everything on and checking their website for a fit guide. Each company lists the fit of each size, so it's worth looking into. Do coordinate your shoes with your belt. This one is simple. Black shoes, black belt. Brown shoes, brown belt. Now the colors may not match entirely. This is more true with brown than it is black, but showing that you know how to coordinate these two shows that you can put an outfit together. Don't buy square toed shoes. This tends to be the first pair of shoes men buy. It shouldn't. They're ugly, they make your feet look bigger, and they really ruin the appearance of a suit. There's a GQ article that sums up this topic quite nicely. I will link that in the video description box below for further reading. But I recommend buying a shoe with a rounded toe. It's traditional, it's never going to go out of style, and it looks good on everyone. Do have some idea of what you're looking for. Doing any kind of research is a great way to better understand what you want. Finding a suit can get very confusing very quickly, so even doing a quick Google search is a great way to figure out what you're looking for. Don't expect to look like the model in the picture. Doing research can be a bit of a double-edged sword. It's great to give you some ideas, but you also need to keep an open mind. I've had plenty of guys come to me say, I want to look like the model in the picture. Well, that's a problem. Not all stores carry the same type of suit, and if you don't have the same body type as the model, then that's a non-starter. It can make finding a suit even more difficult. Use this research as a reference, and always keep in mind, you're the one wearing the suit. It has to look good on you, not the model. And that's all that I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I do have some updates. The Instagram page for this channel is now up and live. It is at Foodie in Fashion. I will put a link in the video description box below. As of right now, this is the only social media platform that I am using aside from this channel. This may change over time, but as of right now, it's just the Instagram page. I thank you all for the continual comments and the likes. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, thank you.